everybody welcome back to another day in my life studying for the bar exam if you're new here my name is Kate and I just graduated law school in May of this year and now I am preparing for the bar exam and I have been for this entire summer so today is July 25th the bar exam is the last two days of July so we're less than a week away and honestly I felt super confident the past few days but I'm in a little bit of a weird mood today so I think that's affecting my confidence level I'm not even gonna lie it's 12 30 and I just woke up like an hour and a half ago typically I'm up around 8 like getting ready um, and getting ready to start studying for the day but I woke up last night around 1 a.m. And I think it's because my upstairs neighbors were like rumbling around. I don't know what they were doing at 1 a.m. But I, I think that's why I woke up. So then I couldn't fall back asleep. And eventually I did. But that means that I slept way later than I intended to. That is okay. I'm going to try to not let it ruin the day. This is going to be a super casual study day i typically stop studying around 6 p.m and then i tidy up the apartment i have dinner relax for a minute by watching netflix or tiktok or something and then i'm usually in bed by like 8 or 9 p.m i don't know if that's going to be the case today since i slept in so much but nonetheless we're going to get some stuff done and i'm going to try to um find my confidence again because I'm obviously going to need that going into next week. I kind of made it a little goal to try to vlog every day the week leading up to the exam because I didn't vlog a ton over the summer. I just couldn't find the time or motivation after studying so much so i'm really putting in the effort to vlog a lot this last week so you guys can see my study strategy what i've done so far what i'm doing this last week and um, also how i'm maintaining my mental health and taking care taking care of myself because that's also important i've already had breakfast and i i hate to have coffee past like 12 um, but unfortunately, I think I am still half asleep. So I am going to make myself another little cup of joe. I'm going to sit down and figure out what I want to do today in terms of studying, what I need to work on. The bar review platform that I've been using is Barbary. And luckily enough, their personalized study plan is really great. It kind of tells you what subjects you're strong in, what subjects you're not strong in. So I think what I'm going to do is look at that and decide where to go from there i actually just got back up to my apartment i went to our little package room because i got two really exciting packages one is from ulta i'll show you what i got and the other one is from ann taylor i got a couple of new suits because i'll be starting work not next week but the week after that so the week directly after the bar exam i have a lot of winter suits like thicker suits but i don't have a ton of like summery suits um so ann taylor was having a really good sale i got a amazing deal on these two suits so i'm going to unbox them and i will do a little try on haul as well okay ignore all of this mess over here but first and foremost this is what i got from ulta i have not self tanned pretty much all summer because I got a nice little tan laying by the pool and going to the driving range to practice golf. But honestly, summer is coming to a close and I'm noticing that my tan is starting to fade a little bit. And I've been wanting to try this for a long time because people specifically on TikTok absolutely love it. I got the dark shade. Um, so I'll probably use this today and we'll see what it looks like. And then I just got some fresh tanning mitts. Um, obviously this one's for the body, this one is for the face. And then I got a little trial size of this Whey Detox Shampoo. People also rave about this. And I've noticed some buildup, I think, on my scalp. I don't know if it's the summer weather or because I'm using like a little bit of product in my hair now, but I wasn't ready to commit to a full-size bottle so i'll let you guys know what i think of this i'm gonna wash my hair tonight so i'll probably use it and see what happens okay i'm so excited for this 
I just love cute, fun suits. So I'm very excited. And hopefully these fit. I don't know. We'll see. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh, it kind of matches my sweatshirt that I'm wearing now. So one of them is a traditional like pantsuit and the other one is um but uh, has a it comes with a pencil skirt so it's not pants but a skirt yeah super cute with the colors okay let's try it on so here's the skirt suit ignore my my cheetah print house shoes i think this will look much better with a nice pair of heels or flats i think it'll look better with like a pop of color underneath this white button down from zara is just what i grabbed out of my closet to put underneath it but fits perfect super comfy and i love the color i just think it's perfect for especially for summer i feel like it's definitely a summer color and yeah 10 out of 10. i can't remember off the top of my head what i paid for these suits but i know that i got both of them for under 200 dollars. it was definitely under 200 which is a steal because suits are typically very expensive like you would pay two hundred dollars probably for one suit without the sale so okay i want to try this one on now okay i love this suit i love the color and overall the fit is pretty good i think but like why do they come up <laughs> why do they come up so far i think i'm gonna have to exchange these and get the um like the long version maybe because i don't know normally i wear a two Kirby fit in Ann Taylor. Um, the jacket is a two as well, but these are just so short. Like, I don't think this is wearable. Everything else though, is super cute. The color, I like how it's made. I just wish these were a little longer, but um, can't win them all. You can't win them all. So maybe I can exchange these hopefully. I've been studying for a few hours now. It is 6.30 and I kind of just wanted to show y'all what I accomplished and what I worked on during my study hours today. So first of all, this is the target course hours. So it says that I've studied 322.6 hours over the course of the full summer. I would say 15 to 20 hours is missing from that number just because I don't always log everything that I'm doing to study on Barbary. Like sometimes I'll go through flashcards or read the outline books and I just don't log it. So I don't necessarily think that's accurate, but it is kind of nice to just see where you're at with the Barbary specific material. And it gives you like target course hours as well so you can see your progress. And it says that I should have 348.7 hours. I would say I'm pretty close to that. And today I logged four hours out of 5.1. Since I slept in today, I am not done studying. I am going to take a break soon because my brain hurts. But as of right now, I've logged four hours out of the projected 5.1. And what I've done today is I watched two like comprehensive overview videos for civil procedure and contracts. Those were both very helpful. I'm going to aim to watch all of the overview videos for all of the MBE subjects. So maybe that's what I'll do later. And I did a set of 14 practice multiple choice questions. Did not do so hot on those. I don't know what happened, but woo, stresses me out a little bit that I did not perform well on that set of questions because I've been doing so well. And then I also did a practice essay for criminal law and criminal procedure, and I got enough points um, just based off of my own self-scoring and the rubric that Barbara gives. I got enough points to be in the passing range, which, which makes me really happy. But yeah, like I said, I'm done studying for now. I am gonna take a break. I kind of just wanted to give you all that overview of what I've accomplished. I feel like I'm moving 
slow today be just because I slept in. I didn't sleep well and I don't know. I just kind of feel off today. But that being said, I feel like I accomplished a lot even for just having a bad day, you know? I have been a couch potato. I've been sitting on this couch literally all day since I woke up. So I am gonna be fully transparent. I don't feel like going to the gym. I really thought about it. I want it so bad, but also I'm not feeling it today. So I'm gonna get out my yoga mat and maybe just do some stretches um, because I feel like I need to do something with my body, but I don't feel like making a full commitment to going to the gym and also where it's 6 p.m i feel like that's rush hour for the gym it's always so busy after people get off work so i'm just gonna do a little workout here in my apartment hopefully that should make me feel better as well i'm gonna tidy up my apartment i think all i really need to do is put dishes in the dishwasher wipe off my kitchen surfaces and i'm gonna have a frozen little meal for dinner we're, we're keeping it real simple today, real easy. I may watch an episode of this new series I'm watching. I've been watching My Life with the Walter Boys, I think is what it's called, on Netflix. And I typically don't like the cringy, like, high school coming of age shows. But I really like this one. I don't know if it's because my brain is just always so stressed that I want to watch something wholesome and happy and cute. But yeah, that's what I've been watching to get myself through this last last week of bar prep. So I think I have about an hour of studying left in me after, after I have dinner and everything. I also want to take a long, long shower. I'm gonna use my new shampoo, which I'm really excited about. And I'm gonna try the new self tanner. I'm just gonna put it on and leave it overnight. So hopefully, hopefully it looks good tomorrow. After all that, I, I think I have about an hour, maybe two hours left of studying in me for the day. I don't know what I'm going to do with those two hours. I may try to do another round of practice MBE questions and try to read some outlines, but I'm just so fried. I need to do some like low effort studying instead of intense like practice, practice essays or something like that. And then tomorrow, hopefully, I will wake up and be able to hit the ground running. I just finished reading for the night. I think my brain is officially done trying to learn. Honestly, for today to be kind of like a really chill off day for me, I feel like I learned at least a few new concepts and I really solidified my understanding, especially with Civ Pro and contracts. It was really helpful to just get like a good overview of all of the topics and all of the things that I need to remember for the exam. I was also able to watch Netflix, enjoy my dinner, and I had a really good shower. I did an everything shower, so I'm feeling super refreshed. First impressions on the Way shampoo. I think it's good. I I really can't tell how like clean my hair feels because it's still wet. But the shampoo lathered well. The smell is good, so I like it so far. And now I'm about to go dry my hair because it's still like sopping wet. My shirt is literally wet. And then I'm gonna put on my fake tan and then I am going to bed. Tomorrow, I can't decide if I wanna to go to a cafe, maybe in um, Baltimore. I tried a really good cafe the other day that I liked. Their coffee was good, pastries were even better. So maybe I'll go there. And I also need to pick up something from Walgreens. I also think if I'm going to be going down into Baltimore, it'd be a really good idea to kind of do a little drive-by of where the test is going to be. And then also I booked a parking spot in a garage near where the test is going to be on Spot Hero. So I think it's a good idea for me to kind of just drive around and see where everything is so there's no 
no surprises on the exam days. A lot of people book a hotel next to their um, testing center, but honestly, I live like 30 minutes tops from um, downtown Baltimore, and I just really didn't see the need to uh, to book a hotel room, so I just I'm just gonna drive and park. And hopefully that will all work out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I think I'm just going to start a new vlog tomorrow. Going to try to learn as much as I can tomorrow. Hopefully I wake up a little bit earlier. Have a more normal day because today was just weird. But okay, love you. Bye.